Hello, my name's Kevin Partner, and I'm Chief Geek of Enlightened Multimedia. Adobe Flex 3 is one of the most powerful, rich internet application development platforms available. But there's no doubting that its standard look and feel is a bit on the bland side. You can make some changes using CSS, but skinning using Flash components is by far the most powerful way of making changes. To do this, we need to begin by locating the original skins. To do this, go to Program Files, Adobe, find the Flex folder, and within that, we need the SDKs, 3.0, Frameworks, and then we'll pick Eon Graphical. Copy the Source folder. And this needs to go into your Flex Builder project uh, folder structure. I've created a special folder called Flash Skins for the purpose. OK, the next step is to open Flash up. Go to Flex Builder 3 and find the source files we just copied in. Open it up. What we'll see here are all of the visual components that have been defined using Flash. We're going to mess around with the button component. So all we do at this point is just copy them, all the different states, create a new Flash document, and paste them into the new document. All we do now is mess around with these components until they look how we want them to look. As you can see, I've just gone for a plain black look and feel. We now need to create a new symbol, which needs to be a movie clip. I'll call it New Buttons. And then we need to drag and drop our changed buttons into that movie clip. If I just drag them, you can see they're all there. Now I need to create a compiled clip. So right click, click on Export SWC File. And then we need to um, find our Flex Builder project. And the Flash Skins folder. Give it a name, such as Buttons, and save. Now for the easy part, we go back to Flex. Drag and drop. You can see the standard component look and feel. We're going to change the text to white for reasons that will become obvious in a moment. Now we click Convert to CSS, because we need to create a new CSS file. Click on New, give the CSS file a name. Again, we can call it Buttons. And we want to apply this to a specific component, so we leave the rest of the um, settings as they are. That's the standard look and feel. We need to change this by clicking Skin and selecting Flash Symbols from the drop-down, and then finding our SWC file in the Skins folder. There it is, Buttons SWC. And now the clever bit. That SWC file has now been loaded in, and we can set one Flash symbol per each of the um, different states of the button. Now, because we copied an existing Flash file, it already had the right names, which makes life a lot easier. Now, I haven't done different selected skins, and so I'm going to use the same as the, the standard skins, which personally I think is absolutely fine anyway. OK. And finally selected Disabled. And click OK. Be a few moments delay. And there we are. Now you can see that we need to change the colour of the over text so it's now visible. And that is just about it. Not terribly exciting when it comes to button design, but it shows the capability. You could have any button design you want. Go back to the main MXML file, and there it is. 
run it and have a look at it in Firefox. And we can see that all the different states are now working. Using this technique, you can get a much, much more interesting look and feel for your Flex application, limited only by your imagination.